Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So the Browns, we went out there and just handled business against the Cardinals. And this is something we supposed to do. You feel me? We supposed to handle business against the Cardinals. Look at the Cardinals. They won in seven. They're one of the worst teams in the league. They've been balling out all year with, me, you know, limited talent. Uh, they don't have James Conner anymore. Kyler Murray didn't suit up this week. They traded Josh Dobbs. So once they said that they was going to um, start whoever this backup rookie quarterback was that they picked up in the fifth round, or oh, knew what it was. I'm like, okay, we going to win this game. Flat out. We going to win this game. He ain't ready for this. He not ready to go up against the best defense in the league. He not ready for this. He ain't ready for this. And you see today, we made – we made it. We made it bad for him. You feel me? He threw three picks. He got sacked six or seven times. He fumbled the ball at least once or twice. You know, and he didn't. Overall, he didn't even pass for 100 yards. I don't even think he passed for 50 yards. You know, like that's how bad shit was for dude. So the defense, they did what he was supposed to do. Good, good job by the defensive players and our awesome defensive coordinator, Jim Schwartz, the one who really went in this game. You know what I, mean? I don't care. Y'all, y'all should know, I don't care for Kevin Stefanski. Kevin Stefanski today, he had a decent game. You know, he had a decent game. Um, he still opened up the playbook for Deshaun Watson, you know, considering his shoulder injury. And Deshaun Watson looked good. You know, Deshaun Watson, he, um, I think he could be like 19 to 30 passes, two touchdowns, no picks. He looked pretty good. You know, he, he, he showed that his shoulders not fucking with him because if it was, he wouldn't be able to throw them deep balls he was throwing, you know? He was he was throwing that bitch deep, you know? So we see his arm is pretty much almost 100%. It's not 100%, but almost 100%. And that's something we got to be excited about and be happy about because we've seen what life is life is like without Deshaun Watson. And considering that we didn't pick up any backup quarterback, we didn't trade for a backup quarterback or none, it's like, hey, we really need Deshaun Watson back. And the only difference is... We have a player that can make the decision that we need to be made offensively. We have a player that can get the ball and make the throws that we need to put up points. Because the defense already was getting stops. It's just that we was not putting up any points and taking advantage of those opportunities that defense was giving us. And to be honest with y'all, I still personally think we can still do better with taking advantage of those opportunities that the defense giving us. The defense, they give us picks. They give us turnovers every week. They get stops on third. Oh, man, stop being thirsty. They give us stops on third and, um, what is that, third down. You know, they give us stops. We just was not putting up points, you feel me? And this is this has really been an issue all year. It's gotten better, though, you know, despite. Well, it's gotten better under Deshaun Washington, I say. But P.J. Walker, he was just not getting it done, you feel me? So, yeah, we just got to do a better job at just taking advantage of those opportunities, and we can easily just be the best team in the league. Right now we're sitting at five and three. Truthfully, we should be really should be six and one. Or at least five and two. This is being a hundred, but now we five and three. So well, I meant to say seven and one or six and two. But we five and three. So it is what it is. You know, it was good to see us win this game. Um next week we play the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, they 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 able to make adjustments against us. We had a good defense to start off against them, and our defense really did play pretty cool or acceptable throughout the whole game. It's just that we was giving up points, we was giving up yards. They figured out how to make things confusing for us and run the ball, and it opened up their passing attack and stuff like that. So this time we got to come in, and we got to be able to lock all the way down. And Stefanski got to open that play like he did against the Titans, and somewhat today. Today wasn't all the way open, but the deep ball opportunities was there more often than usual you feel me so i'm excited to see what's in store for my browns but man they got to make the games more entertaining bro i fell asleep on the game and shit made a game a little, little cat nap you feel me i'm taking cat naps in the game I, this been happening since last year and i'm a browns fan you feel me i'm a diehard fan there's no way i should be falling asleep during the game like the shit the offense be so that's how bad the offense be bro I'm falling asleep and shit. So I guess I'm just I'm just blobbing off, but we gonna see what's up. We play the Ravens next year, next week and we gotta win this game. You feel me? We gotta we gotta be able to split with them and we gotta be able to make them take a loss so we can have a better chance at winning the division, man. So that's what it's all about at this point. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming soon.